Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have some viewer mail. Fumes of Decay with Devouring the Excavated Dissonant Tapes and Severed Records. Got some brutal German death metal. Now you folks know I'm not a big fan of the term brutal slamming death metal, but that's what Fumes of Decay happen to play on this Thanksgiving day. Yes, that rhymes, and today's Thanksgiving. But, yeah, I know I'm a little out of order here, but I was rearranging my tapes and putting them in the best order I could. I have a few new cases and stuff, but they're already filled. There's two more, and there's still, like, about 300 tapes that need to find some more shelter, because I have some, like, couple shoeboxes. <laughs> there's a lot of shoeboxes just hanging out. And, like, I try to keep what I listen to most, like, right around where I'm sitting. So, like, right over here is, like, more breath, Ripicalu, Sequestrium, Cystic. There's a lot of gnarly stuff over here. The Imprecation Box set, New Windigon, Cerebral Rot, Spectral Voice, whatever. But we're here to talk about the brutality of Fumes of Decay. Kind of a typical Severed Records release, and I mean that in the best way possible. Like, I knew before even listening to this what I was getting myself into. But I honestly thought it would be a little more technical, just uh, honestly based on German death metal I always just think technical. And I know I'm wrong. I'm wrong, but like, this is definitely more Americanized brutality. But also, I know Europe love their brutal, slamming death metal. As much as I hate that term, it's awesome though. Like, the drums aren't too like purposely pingy if pingy at all honestly the drums are very like production wise highly produced if I had to compare it like there's a lot of parts on here that honestly sound like Nile But, like, not as technical. But, like, when it comes to the guitar solos, I think of, like, straight up Carl Sanders. But then, like, vocally, it's like, whoa, this sounds like, you know, like Pyrexia and the usual suspects. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's guttural, but it's not as guttural as, like, the Impaled Demo by Devourment, for example. Or even, like, Molesting the Decapitated. Oh, I forgot. I was going to say, I was going to grab uh, that Torso Fuck tape, but I, I forgot I moved it. I got to find it. It's here somewhere. But... 
yeah, the vocals on here, insane. The riffs, insane. Production, very on the money. Like, I don't want to say overproduced, but, like, it's kind of like, you know, right where it needs to be. Especially for this type of death metal. Like, they could have straight up went and over-triggered the drums and made them sound like a typewriter, but they didn't do that. Like, any parts where, like, the double kick is, like, out in front sounds pretty, like, organic for a brutal death metal band. I like, like, the riffs are very, like, memorable and stuff like that, like, like it's all it's an awesome riff. But then you get your spin kick parts. And that's what's fun about ultra brutal death metal is if you want, you can spin kick your friend in the face. Now, the cover art does look like a PC video game, but that's kind of the image and kind of what I expect out of just like a brutal death metal release on Severed Records. I know they love that like style of like digitalized illustrations. But, uh, yeah, Fumes of Decay, this really, like, caught me off guard with, like, how enjoyable it was, and Joran Beacon on vocals, insane. Vocal delivery on here is great. There's no re rees or bree brees Like, he's... I wish there were lyrics, because he's definitely, like, pronunciating words. Like, just... Because there's parts where it's like, all right, he could get lazy here and just do the vocal patterns. But he's obviously saying words. And that's awesome, too, because if you're a fan of Brutal Death Metal, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you hear a part and it's like, there's no way there's actual lyrics here. They're just relying on a vocal 300 processor. But no, this is some real guttural vocals. No shifter, to my knowledge. I don't hear anything that points to a shifter. Maybe a little reverb? That's it. Vocally. Cause yeah, it's just it's pretty like just straightforward, no like ultra ridiculous like sewer you need a pitch shifter vocals. So good job to fumes of decay. I really wish I could remember what viewers sent this, but that was back in 2021, and I honestly forgot I even had this until about a week ago. But you get nine tracks of straight-up brutal death metal with some slamming parts. It's just some brutal death metal. I feel like you should know when I'm saying it's brutal death metal to expect a few breakdowns. Like, that sounds pretty stock for a brutal death metal band, but I really feel like Fumes of Decay, you know, there's only a few parts where it's like, I've heard that a million times. Like, 
Nah, this has its own like vibe to it, but at the same time, if you like brutal death metal, you can't really go wrong here. Fumes of Decay. Good stuff. <laughs> And really, really nice tape cosmetics as well. Dissonant tapes always do a good job. And the sound quality on point. Normally, like when it comes to this type of death metal, I normally only see it on CD. So it just kind of goes right by. Like... So, getting to hear Fumes of Decay, I'm going to rhyme again, and that's okay, because Fumes of Decay didn't really blow me away, but what I must say is that I would pay to listen to some more Fumes of Decay. That fucking sucked. I'm terrible at rhyming on the spot. I could never win a hip-hop battle. Unless I got my 36 Mafia on and I just sat there and that's all I listened to for like a month was 36 Mafia. And then maybe, just maybe. But in the meantime, Fumes of Decay and... Devouring the excavated dissonant tapes via severed records. German brutality. And if you're thinking, well, it's German, it's kind of techy death metal, but not really. Because it's not. It looks like that. And again, a lot of people, when they think German death metal, they go straight to Necrophagus, Obscura, etc. And I feel like they forget that, you know, they're not the only bands in Germany. And I think it's awesome that there's a brutal death metal scene in Germany. That's cool. Because Fumes of Decay legit sounds like something that would have oozed its way out of Texas. And that's a compliment. Like seriously, it's something I feel like Corpse Gristle would have put out in the in the nineties. And again, compliment. But check out the Fumes of Decay link in the video description and I'm not sure if this is still available. Again, this was sent to the channel. Thank you again. If you want to support the channel that way, by sending something, just hit me up. Or join the Patreon for a dollar and also be entered into the monthly contest. But uh, yeah, licensed from Severed Records and released by Dissonant Tapes. Nine tracks of German brutality. Fumes of Decay on Devouring the Excavated. Links will be in the video description. I kind of feel like listening to the first Amorphous record. But, I don't know. We'll see. There's a couple things. I kind of feel like listening to some dead infection. We'll find it. Or, you know, I wouldn't mind listening to some Neanderthal noise machine, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. You don't know. Highly recommend getting into some uh, NNM gnarly stuff right there. But again, thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.